pharmaceutical production systems maintain high standards to ensure compliance with current regulatory guidelines and legislation. Organizations that make medicinal products for the European or American market under the directives and regulations of the EMEA, the European Medicine Agency, and the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, use GMP, Good Manufacturing Practices, also known as predicate rules. A system validation and qualification is an essential part of a legislation that companies must comply with. Validation is an element of a quality assurance program for life sciences products or processes to ensure that the products are indeed fit for their intended use. The reason behind is to demonstrate in documented form that the processes, methods, tests, activities and equipment they deploy are capable of repeatedly producing the desired product. Therefore, each critical step in the manufacturing process must be verified to perform as intended under defined conditions. In this course, you will acquire a fundamental understanding of quality-related requirements, developing tests and a structured approach to analyze and understand the functionality according to the ISPE baseline. This is an approach of commissioning and qualification. System validation is a systematic process of testing and qualifying equipment. Validation is intended to demonstrate in documented form that the equipment is capable of repeatedly producing a desired product. System qualification is a process of assurance that the specific system premises or equipment is able to achieve predetermined acceptance criteria to confirm the attributes of what it purports to do. Therefore, qualification is the means of providing documented evidence that a specific equipment, facility or system is fit for its intended use. While a variety of approaches are possible, the V-cycle model is the most common approach. A thorough analysis of the systems and their components set the basis of the tests. Based on this analysis and the functionality of the system, tests are developed and executed to document the functionality and results of the tests. There are some regulations and guidelines that authorities have developed related to qualification and validation. According to GMP, manufacturers need to control all critical aspects of the particular operations through qualification and validation over the life cycle of the product and process. Let's take a look at the most important regulations and guidelines. EU GMP Annex 15 describes that qualification activities are to be considered in all stages from initial development of the user requirement specification through to the end of use of the equipment, facility, utility or system. Let's see what the definition of process validation is according to Annex 15. Process validation is a documented evidence that the process, operated within established parameters, can perform effectively and reproducibly to produce a medicinal product meeting its predetermined specifications and quality attributes. And what about the definitions of qualification and validation appearing in ICH Q7? According to ICHQ7, qualification is the action of proving and documenting that equipment or ancillary systems are properly installed, work correctly and actually lead to the expected results. 
So, qualification is part of validation, but the individual qualification steps alone do not constitute process validation. According to ICHQ7, validation is a documented program that provides a high degree of assurance that a specific process, method or system will consistently produce a result meeting predetermined acceptance criteria. Thank you for attending this course. I hope you find it useful and that you have learned what you expected. See you in other courses at SciLife Academy to continue your learning journey.